let's take a look at how we use element presets. So I've got color ramps selected at the moment and to apply one you simply drag and drop onto a color ramp. If I drag and drop it here you'll see the text goes green, I drop that and now it has colored this gradient here. So I will drag and drop, and drag and drop. For element colors we start to drag and you can see that the color swatch here uh, as the text goes green so we can apply it directly to color swatches to change the color so we'll change the light and then we'll drag and drop this onto the color there now the background here if we pick that that's using a HDRI map but what you'll also notice when you are dragging the element color is that the tabs up here go green also and as does the content type what this means is I can drop this on the content type it switches it to flat and then it adds that color. So if I do that again, change it to image and we'll go drag that color and drop it on the tab this time. It switches the content and changes it to a color. So you, you aren't stuck with only applying this directly to the color. You can use it to force the content type to change and to, to flat and then it gives it the color. Now the same goes for element images when we drag and drop. So if I change this back to image, I can drag and drop this. If I change that to studio lights, I drag and drop this onto the image field itself. But if this was set to say bulb and I was dragging and dropping, I can drop it on the content type or onto the master tab here and it will actually switch the content type to image and then it will use that image from the element image. So with element images and element colors, when you drag and drop, you do have those extra options that mean you can force the light to change its content type and then use the color or change its content type and force it to use the image. So that's the first method, dragging and dropping into the light properties panel. Now there is another way where you can drag and drop actually onto lights in the light list. So if we just pick studio lights, so I can drag and drop onto a light, apply it to the master, and it will change the content type and apply the image. So if I switch this to being flat, so back to that green light, and then I drag and drop this element image, apply it to the master, and you can see that it's changed the content type to image, and then it's used that image. So it means that it's particularly useful if we have uh, HDRI maps, so element images, HDRI. So we can say on this background here, drag and drop, and then apply to master, and then we can change the HDRI map being used on an existing light very easily this way. Now you can't do this for value ramps and color ramps because it makes no sense. You wouldn't know what to apply it to. But in the case of uh, element images and element colors, so let's just pick element colors now. And if we drag and drop that on here, and then we've applied that to the main content. It didn't make any sense to apply it to value or alpha to apply a color to those. So it basically immediately will switch the content type over to flat and apply that color when dragging and dropping on a light in the light list. So let's do it to this light here. So that's how you apply element presets to existing lights. For element images and element colors, you can also create new lights straight from these element presets. So here, if I drag and drop onto the canvas and create as background light, we've now made a background light that is flat and orange. If I drag and drop onto the render view, create as background light. We can do the same. 
If we drag and drop into a space in the light list, create as background light, we can do the same. And if we double click on a color, create as background light, we can do the same. So if we now change over to element images and choose the HDRI Haven, we can do the same thing. Drag and drop, create as background light. Drag and drop, create as background light. Wherever it's dropped on the canvas or on the render view, the position will always be centered on the canvas like this. It won't take into account where it's dropped uh, or, or what the light paint position is. Then if we drag and drop into a space on the light list, create as background light. Or if we double click, create as background light. So you can make lights uh, in those ways. And then let's try and make some 3D lights. So change this to studio lights. And now we'll drag and drop. And where we drop it on the canvas, we'll create as 3D light. The light is made in that location. If we drag and drop onto the render view, create as 3D light, it's been created in that location. I'll just darken down the background so we can see it easier. Okay. If we drag and drop in a space on the light list, create as 3D light, it's made in the center of the canvas. And if we double click, create as 3D light, again, it's made in the center of the canvas. But this means there's these ways we can use the element presets for element images and element colors and we can make lights with them. It's easy to save your own element presets so we've got a range of lights and I'm going to show you how to save all the different types. So you'll see next to this image slot here we've got this button and if I press this we can actually save this image as an element preset. So it's the image of these two people. So I'm going to create a new tag called people and call this people one and press OK. And then looking at the element images, if we go and we scroll down to people, we can see now we've got an element image preset for those people. So it's as easy as that to save an image preset here. Okay, if we go to this slide, you'll notice next to the color here, there's also a little button for saving the colors as a preset. So I'll press that and we'll create a new tag called color. Well, we shouldn't really call it color. We should call it mark because it's my colors. And then we'll just call it burnt orange. We'll OK that. So if we then look at element colors, there's a new one here called burnt orange. And then we can use that color in the future. If we go to this round light here, we can see there's a color ramp and an alpha ramp. So there's a little button next to the color ramp. We'll press that. We'll create a new tag called, well, we'll reuse the tag called mark because it's my, it's my color ramp. And then we'll call it rainbow. Press OK. We'll look at element color ramp. And you can see there's a new one here called rainbow that we can use in the future. So if I drag and drop that on here, I can drag and drop and I've got my stored rainbow. And then the final one is the value ramp here, which is the alpha ramp. If we click on that button, we'll use the tag mark. I'll call this wobble. Why not? Press OK. And then if we look at the element value ramp, we can see there's a new one here called wobble. It's quite appropriate, it's quite wobbly that wobble and then we can use different drag and drop those on here but if I want to use the wobble preset there you go I can reuse that in the future so basically by using these small buttons next to the properties 
you can save your own Element presets. OK, so let's take a look at what presets for the elements ship with HDR Light Studio. So we've got the colour ramps, they very much speak for themselves. So if we just drag and drop, you can see the colours that there are. There's one here that looks a bit like kind of a, a desert um, with a, a kind of a sky and a sand kind of effect going there. But there's just a range of colours and we expect you to add to those yourself. Then if I go to element colours, Again, a range of basic colors. We expect you to add to those yourself. And then if we go element value ramp, let's just turn the brightness of the background down a bit so we can see what we're doing. So some of these are more suited to something like a round light. So for example, these two, this one. So if I drag and drop on there, you can see how this appearance, so I'm just gonna roll those up. So I can make this nice and big. So you can see as I drag and drop these different ramp shapes on here, and if I open up the graph, this visual here is basically the shape of the graph from the left to the right side of this ramp, if you're wondering what that is. So I can drag, I could drop those. So this is a bit more of an IES type light effects there. And then some of these are more suitable for something like this rectangular light here with a box grad. So if we drag and drop onto here and onto here, we've instantly made this kind of uh, grid of lights. We can do the same here and here. And then if we just wanted to change how soft the edges were on a light, we can use these types here. So if I just drag and drop that and there, so it's got a little bit of softness. This one's more soft and this is even softer. And then we've got a setting to make one completely black or completely white. So that's the value ramps. And then finally, we've got the element images and there's a huge range. And if you watch the video for light presets, essentially all of the light preset images are in here, but to use as element images. So that's the preset element content that ships with HDR Light Studio.